You're right there, ladies and gents. How is it going? One of you will know exactly where I am. Epic motorcycle adventures. I'm pretty sure you'll be quite familiar with this part of the world. Um, yeah, I'm in Limston at the moment, uh, the home of the Royal Marines, and uh, I am just heading over to Lyme Regis. Now, the last few days I've been on rideouts galore. I uh, had my own uh, subscriber ride out, and then I had the Saddlebag 73 ride out, and then I went trail riding from Cornwall into Devon, um, which was incredible. Uh, all brilliant stuff. Now I'm doing a little bit of a nostalgia trip for myself. I'm heading down to Lyme Regis. Now last time I was down there doing what I'm going to be doing today, um, I was knee high to a grasshopper. Not that I'm much taller now. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, Lyme Regis is on our, um, uh, what do they call it, Jurassic coastline. And uh, it's a fossil bay. Basically, like how it was sold to me as a kid was every other stone's a fossil down there. It's not quite that much, but uh, it's got an awful lot of uh, fossilised remains in the sediment. Now you're not allowed to dig, you're not allowed to dig, but you are allowed to rummage. Um, so if it's already fallen off or it's on the coastline, you're allowed to go and have a play. Keep that bike from down. So I'm going to do my best, as best I can, which is all you can do when you're doing your best, <laughs> to follow the coastline along to uh, Lyme Regis and then take a little wander on the fossil beach and see if I can find anything. Now, if I don't find anything, obviously I'm not really going to be showing you much. <laughs> this video might not even see light of day. Um, but if I do find something, I will try and uh, excite you with prehistoric gems. <laughs> now I have my sat-nav going and it is set for the direction or rather the location that we are heading to but uh, I'm not really following it it's just so that I've got a rough idea of where I'm going to and hopefully I'll not get lost um, not that you can really in the UK not properly as long as you've got fuel you can get unlost but it sure is pretty what a beautiful day hey what a beautiful day hey hey I wonder how much more enthusiastic or much less enthusiastic more likely I'd be if it was a miserable day I don't know but um yes like I say I haven't been to Lyme Regis since I was a little sprog and I used to go there with my mum on the odd occasion when we were going down to Devon and what have you for our summer holidays um and uh yeah it always used to sort of fascinate me it always used to sort of fascinate me now I'm pretty sure that the route I'm going to be going even if it's a heavily edited route compared to what I actually ride, it will be quite nice to watch. But I'm very aware that I've done a lot of recording and don't have an awful lot of memory card left. Well, they do have a spare somewhere. Um, so I shall uh, switch the cameras off for a little bit and then maybe bring you back if anything interesting happens on the way, anything pretty happens on the way, um, or when we get closer. Well, we're about 15 minutes out now um, and I did try sticking to the coastline all the way around but it just wasn't very possible there's a lot of uh, estuaries and just marshy bits leaching into the country from the coast so you have to kind of go in and out in and out in and out and it gets a, a little bit tiring after a little bit um, trying to find the quickest rate to stay on the coastline um, because it's invariably the longest way. <laughs> Please excuse the sudden cut there. Um, yes, the car behind me decided he wanted to be in front of me and uh, pulled out in front of me. <laughs> There's not a single vehicle behind me, but just could not be bothered to wait three seconds for me to pass. Um, yes, I don't normally get ragey or angry or stuff like that on the road because, well, life's too short, you know? If you get around something without any actual weird incident then actually does it really matter but a bloke didn't even seem to give a monkey didn't even seem to give a monkey so I've deleted that little bit of, of entertainment for you sorry sorry chaps chapets <laughs> ah, and relax calm calm but yes it's uh, it's quite difficult to follow the coastline in England because it's uh, actually really really craggy <laughs> 
which is part of the charm it's part of the charm so um yeah not complaining not complaining but uh, it would have been nice to have had some prettier views than the backs of cars along more main routes mind you i imagine if you had a coastline worth following or with the ability to follow that it, again would have also um, meant that there'd been a, a trail of cars for the whole lot as well all right i'll bring you back in a minute we are slowly meandering our way back down towards the coast though and we're not far at all now just seven minutes away um, so we will be there in a jiffy we will be there in a jiffy the country roads along here are really nice really nice and there's a lot of 60s as well which is uh, a, a pleasant change compared to down in sort of Devon and Cornwall where we've been the last few days where it's all been sort of 40 mile an hour so you can actually get a wiggle on along some of the country lanes up here some of them they might be 60s but I, I really wouldn't even be wanting to do 50 or 40 along them but we're not going to complain that they've given us a, a bit more freedom and flexibility because that would be silly wouldn't it that would be silly so pretty much just over that horizon there will be the coast uh, it's just a case of when are we going to get over the last mound to actually be able to see it it's very uppy and downy here very uppy and downy which I kind of guess is how come it's a, a Jurassic coastline there's just so many layers of stuff here uh, because the end of the country here isn't actually where the end of the country used to be and it used to be a lot lower or something along those lines and um, yes oh we go right here right turn Clyde uh, not that one this one really yes go down here see this one's a 60 <laughs> some of our green lanes are wider <laughs> some of them are also 60s even if I don't find a single fossil which I, I think is pretty unlikely that I won't find a single fossil but even if I don't find a single fossil um, this little explore will have been all worthwhile I love little nadri lanes like this I love love little nadri lanes like this they're just awesome such, so much character and color and um, oncoming vehicles uh. <laughs> and slippery edges <laughs> but we're alive we're alive let's go right here and see what happens wowzers it's quite a view you'd want to have a few quid to uh, have one of the top houses along here wouldn't you But this has been heaving through the weekend, it's been a bank holiday weekend. Hopefully today we're all a bit more chilled. Proper seaside town, isn't it? Completely relies on the tourist industry. Good thing about being on a motorcycle. So you can generally get a little, little bit further than uh, everyone else although uh, beaches are beaches oh ain't that pretty ain't that pretty I definitely think I'm going to have to order a new baffle for this exhaust pipe it is a little bit fruity I didn't take it out intentionally, it came out all on its own accord. It came out on its own accord. Um, yeah, I, I think that was when we were in Wales. Uh, uh, not this one. Hopefully motorcycles are free, or at least there's somewhere I can shove motorcycles for free. MC Motorcycle for me that one's for me that is let's uh, have a w word with the sign see what we have to do for motorcycles so the motorcycles free if in designated bays sweet nice one that's a designated bay 
So I've kind of made bad timing with coming here today at this time because the tide is, is mostly in um, and for the legal fossil hunting I think you're only allowed to really play in the uh, high tide low tide mark um, and you're only allowed to use tools I think on loose rocks. I don't even know if you're allowed to use tools anymore. Um, I'm not sure if that's a thing. When I was here as a kid, we used to. <laughs> um, but rules were a little bit different back then on preserving all these beautiful places. But uh, you see all the rocks behind me there. That's all different layers through the sediments and stuff like that of the past billion, billion, gillion years of history of the earth. And uh, yeah, lots of animals died along there for some reason. And it means that there's an awful lot of fossils here. Now I think there has been some really big fossils found, uh, proper big ones, um, but the majority of stuff we'll find here will be ammonites and uh, stuff like that, like kind of crustaceans and things. Um, that's what I sort of remember from this place, is that the majority of it is sort of crustaceans. Um, but I'm gonna have a little wander along the beach and if I find anything, I'll show you. All right, excuse the helmet hair, by the way. <laughs> I really need a haircut, but I'm not having one. <laughs> well, that's me leaving Lyme Regis. Um, I forgot to put my head plugs in, head plugs? Ear plugs in again, because I'm stupid. So I'm probably gonna have to stop and do that in a minute. Um, but yes, yes, that was quite awesome, quite awesome. I had a little stroll along the beach. It was very hot. I'm really glad I was wearing all my motorcycle clothing for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, it was lovely. Um, so uh, right now I shall post up some of the photos that I took while I was going along there. There was a few people chipping away with hammers and stuff and I'm not sure if I like that. I don't even know if it's allowed. Um, but I like to leave the places I found it pretty much. So we had a rummage in the rock pools. I took some photos of the obvious fossils in the big rocks and stuff like that, as you can see from these photos. And it was wonderful, it was lovely, it was brilliant, absolutely brilliant to uh, get down onto the beach there and uh, just have a little bit of nostalgia, a little bit of a chill out and uh, yeah, it was just really, really nice. Really, really nice indeed. I'm sort of following the sat nav home, I've told it to uh, avoid motorways and tolls and all the rubbish stuff like that. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that, ugh, that it gives me a reasonable route. Got about three hours, 40 minutes to get home. I'll certainly not be videoing for the whole journey. I just wanted to let you know that I had a nice time on the beach. Um, yeah, awesome. Righty, well, um, well, we've got some twiddly roads and I know we've got some twiddly roads because we're in the middle of the twiddly roads. Let's call it here, shall we? Just so I'm not dragging you along pointlessly to find ourselves on a big old A road or motorway or dual carriageway or something horrible like that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really do. If you liked it, give it a big old thumbs up and look at that dual carriageway, damn you. <laughs> Perfect timing. Um, right, let's go. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button and please drop it a comment. Right, boring stuff, bye. Keep that Hey yeah, you no, know, you gotta keep that bar. Rubber side down. <laughs>